Hey guys, um, I wanted to record a video right now, uh, because <sighs> I'm trying to get my phone to <clears throat> stay still. There we go. I wanted to record a quick video, um, about my son. This is like the fourth time I've tried to record this video. <laughs> All other times have failed. <clears throat> Epic epically failed. So, back in, uh, 2005? No, 2006. I graduated high school. Um, but for three year, four years before that, all during high school, I was talking to this guy online. And um, him and I hit it off, fell in love, whatever. So, oh yeah, I'm just letting you know, you might want to wear headphones or something if you want to watch this. I don't know, because like I have to talk really low because my son's in the other room. And I don't want him to hear. <sighs> so anyways, um, so him and I... His, my son's father. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. My son came in. Drink some milk. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so anyways. Him and I were talking and everything. I graduated high school. I got a car. Um, and I had a lot of money saved up, so I went to visit him. Visit him. He was over in the other side of the country. And I uh, went to visit him. Stuff happened, whatever. Um, I came home, found out I was pregnant, got really depressed about it. So I came back home. <sighs> came back. Nate? What are you doing? Out! Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> he keeps on interrupting. He won't leave me alone. <laughs> so, um, I was really depressed when I came home because I was pregnant. So, I was like, screw this. I'm going back to him. Um, I go back, clear across the country. But this time, I drove. The first time, I flew. This time, I drove over there. It was okay for a little while. A couple days, it was okay. But then, he started acting psycho. Like, literally psycho, and, um, he started getting violent with me and everything, whatever. Um, what else I was gonna say? So anyways, I find some money, and I go home. <clears throat> because he was really, really mean, and, like, psycho, like, he deserved to be in jail. Excuse me. And, um, I come home, I, uh, at that point, I was about five months pregnant, I had never seen a doctor, never got any checkups, nothing, because I was severely depressed about it. So, I go to my first doctor's appointment, find out that he's, my son is fine, he's healthy, he's growing fine. Um, even though I was, um, doing some bad stuff while I was pregnant and, uh, was depressed and anxiety was sky high and it was bad. It was really bad. I wasn't taking prenatals, nothing. So, um, <clears throat> so anyways, uh, he's growing, he was growing fine and up to the point, um, of giving birth, uh, that day it was around, it was on April 13th around maybe six or 7 PM when I started getting, well, all that day, April 13th, I, I was having like weird contractions and stuff. And then around 7 p.m., 6, p 6, or 6 or 7 p.m., I went to the bathroom because we were at this amusement park. Went to the bathroom, and there was some stuff in my underwear. And I was like, uh, it's happening. And right after that happened, my contractions started getting closer together, like every 10 minutes. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going, I was with my friends, and I was like, you know what, I need to go to the, I need to go to the doctor now. We need to go to the hospital. It's time. He's going to come out. Uh, and my original due date was April 22nd, so I was at 39 weeks. It was fine. It was fine. Um, so, oh man, I'm trying not to make this video super long. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, so I go to the hospital. Uh, my water has not broke has not broken yet. So the uh, the nurses say, hey, go ahead and get changed, and then we want you to walk around the hospital for a few hours or a couple hours until um, contractions get contra contractions get closer together. So the contractions start getting a little closer together, maybe seven minutes or so. 
I go inside. They have to break my water for me because I was I wasn't gonna budge. I was gonna break for some reason. They actually told me that I wasn't really ready, but I was having early contra contractions. So they said, "Screw it, Let's just have the baby now," because he's full grown. He's fine. <clears throat> so this was around maybe ten or eleven p.m. when my contractions starting to be about five minutes apart, maybe four minutes apart. Uh. I go into the room, I am miserable, I requested no epidural, nothing, only a little bit of Tylenol and IV, um, and nothing else, nothing, no pain meds, no like strong pain meds, nothing, I just push this baby out, and keep in mind, I thought I was having a little girl this whole time, I had girl clothes, girl car seat, girl blankets, everything. <clears throat> comes out turns out to be a little boy and he was born on april 14th around 4 a.m in the morning he was fine he's perfect the only thing that pissed me off around about the whole birth was that the nurses didn't give me my baby right away i i see in a lot of videos where like labor videos where the, where the moms get to hold their baby right away they didn't hand me him he went they went to clean him up and then put him to bed that's it they didn't even get to let, they didn't even let me hold him, which is really strange. Really kind of like now that I think about it for the first few, um, last few years I've been thinking about it. I'm like, dude, that's fucked up. Why didn't they let me do that? <clears throat> so anyways, he, uh, so he was fine. Everything was healthy and everything. Um, the only issue he has is the ADHD symptoms, kind of. I don't even know if he really has ADHD now because a lot of people that are around him, they don't think he has it. But I'm the only one that kind of thinks he has it. So it's confusing. The doctors think he does, but I don't know. Like, sometimes I don't think he does. Sometimes I do. I don't know. But be smart. He's really, really smart. He's a good boy most of the time. He doesn't listen a lot, but that's kids for you. But... Thank you for watching. See you guys later. Bye.